On today's edition of the program, we'll be talking exhibitions from a series which celebrates man at the Didi Museum in Lagos to a group show spiced up with African works of art by the Brilliant Brush Gallery. You'll see that and more on this week's edition of Art House. A warm welcome to the program. I'm Melinda Akinlami. The African woman is intelligent, beautiful, hard-working, and everything an ideal woman should be. She has great independence of spirit. Horizon is an exhibition of unique works of art done by select African artists. Most of them talk about the beauty of the continent and the issues that still need to be addressed. Africa in all her glory and beauty is seen in this exhibition put together by the Brilliant Brush Gallery, which has been pushing out works of art done by veteran and contemporary artists to the international scene. We try to create a balance. We work with some of the older, strong artists that com command um, higher prices. We also try to work with the medium. And then I have a passion for promoting younger artists to discover them and promote them. So you'll see a cross in, in this um, uh, gallery in this exhibition. Each of the works has been very appealing to me though they're from different artists and if you go around what we've tried to also do is to pick an array of artists whose works whose works you can appreciate differently. <laughs> What I think is different about what he's doing is that he's, he's taking a melange, you know, a mixture of top level artists, medium level artists and the new beginners, young people and women. He's promoting women. What is also unique about this is that he invests his own money in propping and preparing the exhibition so that it's up to standard, so the artists are not under financial pressure. So I think it's very unique what he's trying to do. Art can be a very huge market. We can see that internationally. And that is the message we want to bring to Nigeria. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get people to begin to look at it as a, a, a money uh, generating income platform. It's not, and it's an investment really. Apart from the beauty of art and appreciating artworks, there's, it's also an investment. You can buy a painting today, in the next 10 years, just tell a different story. And it's a way to actually store your wealth. And that is what we're saying, that Nigerians need to begin to look in that direction. All this mismanagement of funds, a lot can be done with art, you know, and still you're bringing value. You're helping to create employment and all, and all that sort of thing. The artwork is something that we normally started during, since when we were in our primary and secondary school, which I believe is a business because it's, it's a hope. It's another way of making money. It's another way by creating your talent to see how you impart that your talent and also to engage the, our cultural heritage. Something that you cannot see, you bring it back. I believe it's something encouraging. Charity begins at home. So that's the starting point for the show, which is capturing what happens on the continent, especially little things that people take for granted in bold and beautiful works of art. Well, I have a passion for Africa. I have a passion particularly for Nigeria and the idea is to promote these works beyond the African shores. So as we strengthen and deepen our foundation, we we'll begin to take these works outside. Already we are doing that, but we'll do that on a more stronger level. We're trying to engage the African countries as well as we're doing here. So we sometimes we do have um, exhibitions in different parts of Africa. We're already engaging in Europe, in the US. So from that perspective, I think it bodes well for our country. We have talent, so we should tell our own story. Somebody else shouldn't be telling our own story. That's my take. 
and that's a very, very ingenious thing to do to promote young Nigerians who are talented. I think that the country is like America 100 years ago when it came, comes to art, the performing arts. I mean, we've already become the third best with Nollywood. So with, with the art, we need to push it a bit more and I, I very much support what he's doing. And I think